Hey, welcome to today's POV street video street process episode from Hanoi in Vietnam. If you watched the last episode, that was in Ho Chi Minh City. We only had one full day there as well. And I shot black and white Kent Mir 400 on the Leica. And I'm uh, now shooting some Mr. Negatives 500T variation or 700S as they call it. We landed here last night. I went for a bit of a walk at night time because I thought that would be appropriate uh, time to load some tungsten film, took some shots around at night, a couple of long exposures maybe from the balcony of the place we're staying. And now I'm heading out for a walk in the morning in the area that we're in. And so far from what I gathered last night, it is quite a touristy area, but I think it's just the part of Hanoi we're in. It's near the old quarter. So I'm going for a bit of a wander this morning. We've got the Leica MA again, playing around with the Astahori light meter, but I'm still mainly using Sunny 16 and uh, starting with the Zeiss Biagon 35 mil 2.8 lens as per last time, but I also have the 50 mil in the bag. So in this episode, I'll share with you everything that I shoot on the street here in Hanoi over this uh, one and a half-ish full days. Once I finish this 700S, whatever I learn after that, hopefully there's some good shots on there. So let's get shooting. So as with any Remjet free variation of Kodak Vision film, you will get some red halation on the bright highlight parts of the scene, which can sometimes spill over onto more of the scene than you'd like, but it actually works for some shots. There's often these interesting scenes down alleys that I've already noticed through my walks last night. So I'm always keeping an eye out for uh, something interesting. I don't know if you guys can see it in the footage. There's a, a chicken down there, but that's not really enough for a shot. This roll was developed in C41 and scanned on the Fujifilm Frontier processor. So as I mentioned in the last episode, it is still the Lunar New Year Tet uh, celebrations over these days. So things are fairly quiet, plus it is early in the morning here right now. But there's still lots of interesting light and color and activity to get some shots. I like this balloon thing here. I'll try and make something out of that. So I want to try and set up a shot with this guy. Good background. I always enjoy this kind of hazy light, especially in the morning, it just softens things up a little bit. And I think coming back to that area later could be good. That passing overhead train really added a little bit to the scenery. But then I also uh, noticed that guy come up. So I'll see which one works out better. Just look at this great light still falling in the late morning. Okay, we're down to about the last shot. I'm gonna try and switch to the 50 mil here quickly. Get some shots of the train overhead in case any passengers are poking through. There's just a great color. This guy's wearing red. It's good enough. 
Ah, I don't know if that would have showed up, but it might still be an alright shot. The unpredictability of street photography. It's one of the best aspects. And that's the end of that roll. I think I'll load another Kentmere 400 after this. But that might be a later part of the day. So I joined up with Sarah and our friend Fom where we went to a cafe to hang for a bit. I'd already taken a few shots on the fresh roll, including these that you're seeing here. And that day I also decided to take out the Olympus XZ1 point and shoot. I really liked the pale outfit of the guy in the middle, but too bad I missed focus. This central area that I'd walked through in the morning was starting to get busy now, and the late afternoon light was starting to hit nicely. This was an example of a shot that wouldn't have worked well without the eye contact, so I intentionally waited for it. this car passing and decided I had to catch up with it and try and set myself up for a shot. And sometimes on the street it's like that, you have to work a little bit harder, even just to create the possibility, whether it pans out or not. But with this one, I was glad that I chased the car after all. When you have doubts about the first shot and the opportunity or scene is still there, it's always good to take another one. I approached the last couple of shots on the roll in the Leica, the Kentmere 400. I've been also doing some color once again with the XZ1. And soon it'll probably get too dark for film. So either I'll completely transition to shooting digital or I might load another roll and push it. Either way, I think that's a good wrap for this episode to sum it up here. Maybe I'll show you a few more before we end it. But I'll just take this opportunity to say thanks. I hope you enjoyed this full day here in Hanoi. We will have another day or two at the end of our trip, so I might do another street process here. But until next time, thanks for watching.